Breaking right now on GMJ, one person is hurt, two others in custody after an officer-involved shooting. This is in Northwest Jacksonville. We want to welcome you in. We're going to get right to that news. I'm Keith Nelson. And I'm Katie Jeffrey. So let's go straight to Leah Shields. She has the latest on overnight developments. And Leah, police say this all began with a Facebook Live video. Yes, a family out supposedly for dinner or whatnot, leaving their house for the night, checking their kids' social media, and they see a Facebook Live video with three men, three black men, as was described, with face masks on and guns in their hands. Now, we're on the scene this morning. This happened around 10 last night, and you can see it's still a very active scene this morning. We have police tape right here pretty far from the home right now, but overall from the distance, again, hard to see right now in the dark. We don't have flashing lights anymore, but police are also marking off a pond in the area where they're going to be searching as well. Now, those three men that the people saw in the video, it's unclear if any of those are someone who lives in the home or what their relationship is to the people who were checking their kids' social media. Police did not give those details at this time, but Waters says two officers did end up responding to the home after getting a call. They responded as if it was a burglary in progress. And when they got here, police saw the three men that matched the description and they approached. Those men ran, dropping their guns after an officer yelled to drop their guns, but an officer did shoot. And one of those people, one of the three men is in critical condition this morning. I do say men because we haven't really been given an age range yet, but Chief TK Waters does describe the three people involved as young. No officers injured this morning. Again, only one person in the hospital critical condition, two others detained this morning. Still a lot of questions surrounding this, but for now, Northwest Jacksonville, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side. Leah, this story is quite convoluted, but I'm curious to know what the chief TK Waters actually think of that Facebook live video, because that is a crux in all of this. Let's explain that. Yes, the briefing was around two in the morning, and at that time, TK Waters says that he actually had not seen the video. He even said that officers in general had not viewed this Facebook live video yet at the time. So a lot of questions remaining around that. Why was it being filmed? Who is in that Facebook live? Unanswered questions there that we're going to get to throughout the morning. Thanks for that, Leo.